Guys, I'm um, discussing these five TV series that I enjoy. Uh, really, my idea is not really to do uh, like big in-depth discussions on them and reviews on them and that sort of thing. It's just kind of to bring you a little bit of attention to the five shows that I enjoy and just a little bit of something of interest in there along the way, along with maybe some characters and just a little bit of the story outline and uh, stuff like that. It's not really to go in-depth and deep into the uh, details of the actual series itself. That would take far too long. So I hope you enjoy, all right? Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I got a little project that I'm doing here and I have five TV shows that are more on the serious side, uh, that are my favorite TV shows of all time, uh, kind of in that genre and that kind of category, kind of the more serious. Now, two of the shows have some serious elements, but also a little bit of clowning around uh, from time to time. But they, they do have some serious elements and uh, some good story and uh, some good teachings. All right, guys. Number two on my list, and like I said, they're in no particular order. But uh, number two on my list is going to be Lost. Lost came out in 2004 to 2010. Now, of course, like with uh, Miami Vice, I do have things wrote down. So please forgive me because I am going to be looking at my paper some. So we got a few of the stars here wrote down. Uh, we got Matthew Fox as Dr. Jack Shepard. We have Evangeline Lilly as Kate. We have Terry O'Quinn as John Locke. We have Josh Holloway as... James Sawyer Ford. We have Jorge Garcia as Hugo Hurley Reyes. And there are tons of amazing others. Uh, the pun, if you've ever watched it. As you know, Lost is about the survivors of Oceanic Flight 815 after they crashed on a very mysterious island. Just like Miami Vice, Lost is filled with some of the best musical scores I've ever heard. They are simply brilliant. I'm, they will bring tears to your eyes. Once you've seen the movie, or once you've seen the series, uh, you can listen to some of these scores, and they will bring tears to your eyes. <laughs> it, it's amazing. So, And that's what I like about movies and TV, uh, is that they can really build up on your emotions and and your feelings and the tension and, and just the moments just through music alone. So that's what I love about good music and musical scores in that. I won't get into all the storylines and the craziness. I'll just say don't listen to the bad reviews. Lost simply makes you think. It keeps you engaged. You will watch it more than once. I've watched it from start to finish 11 times now. Um, there's a, a lot of controversy about Lost and the writing and how things kind of went downhill after season three. And and there, and there are, you know, r reports of the writers and directors and all that. And, you know, the writers, you know, talking about, you know, how they just kind of lost focus and kind of wasn't sure where to go and some of the seasons in that and episodes were just kind of you know sporadic and and just kind of whatever but you know you get around those things and every series has you know an odd season or a few episodes that are weird or, or this that and the other and lost is no different um i'm not going to say the writing and all that it was perfect but i am going to say the outcome is absolutely perfect if you just use your mind and quit expecting everything to be handed to you, you know, spoon fed to you, some things you got to go back and watch and you'll, and you'll actually learn some things you can kind of interpret in your own way. And some things you just got to kind of look up, uh, on the internet and you'll find, you know, some answers. Uh, the acting 
is some of the best I've ever seen on a TV show. Just some of the best line deliveries and best quotes and inspirational things and, and just full of amazing dialogue through the entire series. The moments, uh, just, it, it's so great to just watch. <laughs> I love, I love watching it. Uh, we meet a lot of characters and each of them are very different. Uh, the sets, the cinematography, the character development, the twists and turns, just the whole craziness uh, surrounding the entire uh, story, the whole island, the whole everything that happens. Uh, I wish that it could have went on for more seasons and kind of developed even more and uh, given us a little bit more and even kind of explained some things that a lot of people like to complain about a little more. And, and you know, I wish they could have lasted a little bit longer. That would have been great. Uh, yes, like I've said, you know, you will get confused and you can find some answers if you watch and listen. Okay, you are going to have to go back and watch the show again. You're going to miss a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, and there's a lot of information online. They even have a lost encyclopedia <laughs> that you can, you can order that online as well. Uh, this show makes you think. It makes you cry. It makes you mad. It makes you nervous and, and, and excited. And when each episode ended, you could not wait for the next week. So it was one of the greatest shows I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I have no regrets about that. And I would definitely tell anyone who is looking for something different. And, they, and they're, you know, they themselves are kind of full of emotions. And, and, uh, and kind of that kind of person where, where you, know, you know you need to work on yourself. And you're, you're just that kind of character. Uh, Lost is for you. Uh, you'll really enjoy Lost. Uh, I've, I've honestly never seen anything like it. It's just really a brilliant show. So share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Don't forget, guys, check out the playlist. That's where all my videos are. I have all kinds of stuff from something like this to cycling to art projects to throwing darts to reading books and cooking and taste tests and just all kinds of good stuff. Check out the playlist, okay? Even some video game stuff in there. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I actually live stream video games. The game I'm live streaming recently now is Halo 3 on the Master Chief Collection. I've really just started on that, so you're not far behind if you want to catch up real quick. Also, playlist on there. You can go back and watch the video games that I've been playing and stuff. I've went through... Halo Reach, Halo CE, Halo 2, and now I'm on Halo 3, I guess. So, yeah, we're moving right along. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, guys. All right, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and have an awesome time doing it, guys. We'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. See you later. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!